Alan Crabb is next. Alan is from uh, a new initiative called Fund Break. It's a crowdfunding platform where you use your own fan base to uh, fund your own creative projects like publishing or film or music. Okay, um, crowdfunding. Um, so some people may have heard about crowdfunding. Um, it's a new concept um, that's been, uh, I suppose, stems from crowdsourcing. And it's, um, I'm going to use a few examples as we go through here about projects, creative projects that have successfully used crowdfunding. Um, these four guys, um, a few weeks ago, posted a project in the US. And they, were, they just had an idea, a concept. Um, and it was a creative concept to, to provide a, like an anti-Facebook social networking website. They had a target of raising 10,000, and they smashed that target. They raised just over 200,000 from nearly 6,500 supporters. This is only five days ago, and it's probably one of the most successful crowdfunding projects um, to date. I'm going to use another example now. This is more of a fun way of using crowdfunding in a creative way. Kayleigh here loves asking people the awkward questions, what would you do, or what is the completely wrong things you would do for money? For example, what, how much would you take to, to do a nudie run through Hyde Park? She puts a project together for a book, for a website, and posts it and shares that with everyone. As you can see, she is enough to put the website up, and um, it's, it's worth having a look at. Okay, so what is crowdfunding? Crowdfunding is the collective cooperation of people who network and pull money together for, to support a a, an effort initiated by one person or an organization. It stems from um, crowdsourcing. I'm sure a lot of people have heard the likes of iStock Photo. Crowdfunding builds on that, and I'm just using a few examples of um, some US and European based um, websites that have been successfully doing it for a few years. But I want to introduce Australia to Funbrag. Why use crowdfunding? First of all, to raise funds for your creative projects. You can gauge demand um, for the likes of, um, say, your events, um, pre-sales for your album, um, engage your fans, um, get support, and have fun as well along the way. Okay, this is um, Funbrag. We are the first crowdfunding platform, and we've developed the platform for creative individuals, for the likes of artists, for musicians, for filmmakers, to post a project. And over the next few slides, I'm going to look at delving into a project and what makes crowdfunding a success. Firstly, promoting a project. You can use the likes of videos, images, have your biography and talk about the project and talk about um, how you're going to use the funds to get, to get started. So these are your base funds. And this, this is an example from, um, from Urban Theatre. Um, they posted a clip of um, their artist and footballer who is, they want funds to go to the World Cup next week. We use an all or nothing funding concept where Every, every project you have has a goal, and you want to set a timeline of reaching that goal. And if you don't make the goal, the project's unsuccessful, and no one loses out. The next important function of the crowdfunding platform is to be able to give supporters different levels, of, to give them different options and different levels of support. For example, like a $5 for an MP3, um, or you can have a, an album for 25 bucks. So, but we can take this here further, and you can be really creative. Um, we have Claire on, on the website, and she's actually offering um, 
she must be pretty good at uh, making her homemade jam because she's offering this as, as one of the rewards, along with the album, of course. Okay, we've picked four things that we think are important. When, <laughs> when um, getting your project to be a success. First of all, as, we, as was mentioned earlier, know the first fans. Get the first one, and I think you will get a following. So your true fan is your, your funding angel. Okay, these are the ones that push to get your project started. The next is engaging with your supporters. We provide the function to keep your, your supporters up to date um, with the things that are going on, what's, what you're doing with the project, and tell them about your bad days. Yeah? And always thank them as well for the, the help and support they're given. Exposure. Any press, any media press, you, any exposure you get through the press and the media, you want to harness that and I suppose exploit it through the platform and draw attention to a project that you have initiated. And community. There's, I can't emphasize how valuable your network is, your fans, your existing people that have, you have in your network. Take your Facebook group, your Twitter, um, your LinkedIn. Use them all to get a support network around your project. So um, I'm really leaving it to you. Um, have you got a project that you would like to get funded for? Or do you know someone that you'd like to support with a project? Um, and yes, that's, that's my <laughs> six minutes, yeah. It's harder than it looks.